Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Caller X Malice Okatsuki's route. Let's go. Giving in to the inevitability and hope, I held his hand tightly. I should have read that last sentence in my last episode. <laughs> Oops. The clock passed 9 p.m. I'm glad your little brother came home. I'll be back. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. As I watched Okazaki leave through the door, I desperately swallowed my words. See you. Okazaki? Hmm? Um, it's late. Please be careful on your way back. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? But thanks. See you later. Farewell. Yeah, later. I'm sorry. After Okazuki left, I just stood there for a while. I didn't want to betray him like this. If he learned that I disappeared, he might lose himself. It would wound him pretty badly. More than the fear or anything else, I had to bite my tongue to stop myself from crying. Okazuki, do you have a moment? I took deep breaths to calm myself down and knocked on Kazuki's bedroom door. What? Well, I wanted to talk to you. Did he go home? Oh, Okazuki? Yeah, he's gone. Hmm. Is he your boyfriend? Eh? I was startled by the unexpected question. But I didn't have invited him into my room, so... That was a reasonable assumption. Um, yeah. I think he's my boyfriend. Why do you sound so unsure? Everything just happened recently, so it still doesn't feel real to me. Well, none of my business anyway. That guy seems kind of shady, you know? Kazuki seemed interested, even as he declared that it wasn't his business. Hmm. He is kind of troublesome in a lot of ways. Wow, coming from you, that means he must be a real pain. I've told you this before, but let me know before you bring him over next time. Uh, okay. So, what did you want to talk about? <laughs> my words caught in my throat. I felt like I'd cry if I lost my calm. But I couldn't let Kazuki notice. It's about what you wanted to do, Kazuki. You love music, right? Kazuki had dreams. He had passions that he wanted to pursue. When I put a little thought into it, it was clear what he wanted to do. It's true that we don't know what might happen tomorrow, so don't give up on your dreams, Kazuki. I'll be cheering for you no matter what happens. <laughs> Kazuki was silent for a while. Maybe he was frustrated because he hadn't had the talk sooner. Why do you look like you're about to cry right now? Huh? Did you get into a fight with your boyfriend? Or is he one of those domestic violence jerks? N no Okazuki would never do that. Fine then. I'm your family. If he ever makes you cry, tell me. I'll kick his ass. Kazuki. <laughs> you're pretty clueless about the music industry, aren't you? You don't grasp what my dream really is. Yeah, you're right, but I want to know. It kind of pisses me off that you're saying this without knowing anything. But I'm honestly just happy to hear you say that you support me. Yeah, I'll always be rooting for you. My heart trembled because my feelings got through. But the clock yanked me back to reality. I had to go. Sorry, Kazuki. I need to go now. Now? Work again? Yeah. It's an important job. I have to work hard, just like you can't give up on your dreams. Mm. I'll be going then. I felt like I was going to break into tears, so I quickly turned away from Kazuki. I hastily put on my shoes and went towards the door. Sis? Huh? I turned around. He hadn't called me that in a long time. You're coming home, right? Yeah. Good. Take care, then. 
off I go. I pushed through the intense heartache and gave Kazuki the most brilliant smile I could manage. My goodness. Adonis' point of view. What, should, what did I do with his voice? I don't even remember. Well, we'll just make up something. Sanjo. Oh, Mikuni. What's with the grim look? Zero ordered you to cause that mess in Shinjuku Garden. He did. You here to lecture me about it? You know that we can't go against the mighty elder's orders. True. You're wanted by the police. It's only a matter of time before you're caught. Why bring this up now? Me getting arrested was part of, all part of the countdown plan, wasn't it? <laughs> you look dissatisfied. I don't want things to be done this way. You sure you want to say that? People can hear you. I don't care. The time has come for us to part ways. Besides, Sanjo, you're still scheming something, aren't you? I found traces of your communication with other enforcers. Yeah, you got me. You had him do the November incident, didn't you? That hacking whiz kid? I was doing him a favor out of gratitude. Well, it was a personal request. I see. In the past, you would have been given a warning, but it really is too late to be interfering. We are beginning the evacuation. As long as it doesn't affect that, I don't mind. You. You're not planning on coming along, are you? <laughs> ha! Not like you were going to take me with you. I'll take my leave then. Everyone's going through some rough times. Why do they struggle so hard in a world that's so hard to live in? Well, whatever. Time to do my last job. <laughs> in pop the sucky accent. <laughs> Back to main character point of view. I went to the Odonis Od hideout, as the voice from the caller directed. I'm not the one who will be hurt. I stifled the mounting fear and moved forward one step at a time. I haven't given up. Once I'm here, I'll meet the caller-er. <laughs> caller-er. <laughs> Sounds funny. <laughs> Even if we killed each other, I was fine with that. I'd cut the root of this disaster by my own hands. I'd tear Adonis and liberate Shinjuku. My drive hadn't changed. When I'd convinced myself, my phone vibrated in my pocket. I looked at the screen and gulped. Oh, Kazuki? Hello? What is it? I forgot to tell you something. You're at home now, right? Uh, yes. I lied quickly. I got off the street, stepping quietly so that the background noises wouldn't be heard. Did you forget something here? You can come by tomorrow. Hey, remember how I said I wouldn't forgive you if you broke our promise? Er, why did you lie? It was obvious that there was naked anger in Okazuki's voice. The blood drained from my face. Oh, um, I just left to go to the convenience store. Not that. Why are you trying to leave me? You're trying to get to the Adonis base on your own, aren't you? How did he... What are you talking about? Why are you being like this? It's weird. If the base had been found, the raid got delayed, and Adonis has started preparing to evacuate. The person who gave you that caller wouldn't just let you go. They would have contacted you somehow. What did they say to you? Did they threaten to kill you if you didn't come? Or... It's no good. I can't trick him. I just have to hang up. Did they say they'd kill me? Okazuki! I turned around and he was standing right there. Did you think I wouldn't see through your lies? I'm SP and I'm pretty good at tailing people. I'd never miss all the small tells you showed. I don't mean to brag, but 
I know far more about you than the caller does. Did you think you could get away? N no, this is... Is what? Hey, do you even know how angry I am right now? I could tell. Yeah, his face looks freaking creepy right now. He looked sterner than I had ever seen before. He'd obviously figured everything out. I didn't know if assassins were lurking nearby. I have to throw him off somehow. We are going to say... I hate you now, Okazuki. I... I hate you now, Okazuki. Uh. So, I wanted to run from you, even if I had to break the promise to you. I'm sorry you had to come all this way, but please, leave me alone. Ah... <sighs> You really are stubborn and a terrible liar. You're also reckless and a huge idiot. What? I'm really angry. I must be an e even bigger idiot to love you this much. Let's assume that you're telling the truth. Why do you look like you're about to cry then? <laughs> I love your smile. I can tell right away if it's fake or not. You can't play dumb with me. The caller probably made some demands using my life as a bargaining chip. That's the only explanation that makes sense. No, I... Enough. Be quiet. Oh. Aww. A cute CG. Oh, Kazuki. I felt like I was going to die. You left without saying a word, and you decided to sacrifice yourself. Do you have any idea how much that hurt me? You really don't understand a thing. You have no idea what it would mean if I somehow lost you. No. Let me go, please. Didn't I tell you to be quiet? Just listen to what I have to say. I'm not dying, no matter what happens. And you're not running from me, no matter what. You're trying to break the promise way too early. Seems I'll have to treat you just like I do Mineo. I'd never expected to hear words like that coming from Okazuki's mouth. I tried to search for a retort. There's no other way. There are lots of options. Besides, you said we'd try to find a way together. Yet you lied and broke our promise. I'm more shocked than angry now. Even if they said they'd kill me if you didn't obey, I'd just die if you sacrificed yourself. Don't you understand that? Give me a break already. If you're going to make me hurt this much, then it'd be better to just die together. D don't say things like that. You're the last person who should be saying that. Lady, don't run away from me, please. I promise you that I won't die. I won't let you die either. I won't let you be alone. If you refuse, I'll follow even if it kills us. Why? That doesn't make sense. You need to realize how desperate I am. If you don't get it, then I'll just have to never let you go. I... I don't want to lose you, Okazuki. Then listen to me. Put your faith in me and not in that caller. Please, don't try to leave me. How could I possibly say no when you put it like that? Yeah, you can't. So, you don't have to think about it anymore. Don't think. Just stay with me. I'll protect you from anything, no matter what. All you've done is call me stupid. Do you even have a plan? It's still better than following your judgment. But... But I made up my mind. You're saying that while crying your eyes out. You're the one who told me that my death wish was just cowardice. <laughs> It'll be all right. I'll protect us. But the caller, they could be targeting you even now. What would you do if I died here? Huh? If I died right in front of you, don't you think that you'd want to die too? To be honest, I might come to that conclusion. I think the enemy knows that too. Yet they demand that you come to their lair. If that wasn't possible, then they'd just kill us both. So let's go together. If it's a problem, then only I need to die. But, but... There was no response from the caller. 
Maybe it meant that they didn't care for Okazaki coming along. You'd still go even if I tried to stop you, right? Yes. It's not just about the deal. This is my problem, too. The police couldn't act. If I could infiltrate Adonis, then it could allow the police to make their assault. That's what I thought. You're really hard-headed. This doesn't look like it'll be over unless we find wherever the caller came from. And besides, I don't like watching the woman I love in this condition. Is that how you view the problem here? Yeah, I like to keep things simple. The only path is a head-on fight. Okazuki. I was still hesitant. If Okazuki died because of me, the mere thought of it was still terrifying to me. <laughs> Why do they do that? It drives me nuts. But he tightly held my hand. It was colder than usual, and I was near tears. If I let go of his hand now, then he might really choose to die. All right, let's go. Mm, this is getting intense. The tunnel should be around here. We arrived at an underground tunnel that had been neglected for years. It opened into a construction site, but it was unclear that what was supposed to have been built here. Perhaps it had been created as an underground passageway, or construction had stalled midway. It's dark. I don't see anything that looks like a security system so far, but we don't know what's waiting for us. Yes, let's proceed carefully. I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!